welcome. If you're not subscribed, please subscribe now. In this video, I'm gonna do two small hauls. Let me get started. They're little hauls. Uh oh, where's the other bag? One is a Rite Aid, Rite Aid haul, and the other is a grocery store outlet haul. And I'm only showing you part of that because I already put all the groceries and stuff away, but they were that day that I went in there to just get a couple of things. They were setting up their um, garden area with all their pretty goody stuff. And I'll insert a clip in here so you can see. I just, I did get a little tiny bit of footage of what they were, of the things that I really want to go back and get. I just got a couple things from that grocery store outlet and a small haul from my day store outlet. I really like sharing <laughs> and I want to dig into both of them. Um, I want to do my nails, I want to do my hair, so that'll give you an insight as to what I'm going to show you right now. Yeah, okay, right eight. My cell phone took a poop the other day. So I had to take it to the AT&T store so that they could help me with it. It's a new um, iPhone 6s, the newer version. Come to find out, those things have a glitch. I'm going to do a video about that and tell you about it. But anyway, I took that, and it's right next door to a Rite Aid store. So while I let them work on it, I just went next door and did a quick haul. So I'm going to put my glasses on so I can see what I'm showing you and oh by the way I didn't have any coupons with me that day because it wasn't a planned haul and I did save a lot of money because they were having like 75% off 60% off 40% off and of course you know I only went for like the massive big 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 um, percentage off items so except for this was not on sale, but I had to have it because I have um, been collecting stickers and look at how pretty they have like little beauty things like lipstick and nail polish and it's just pretty. So, I mean, it was a, a buck. I had to have it. And then I got some Wet n Wild um, products I haven't on package them but these lipsticks are really pretty I got two of them one of them is it's the wet n wild 53 4b in mink brown you know I probably should have opened this so I could have swatched for you the other one is 53 8a in just garnet it's so pretty and I have tried their wet n wild lipsticks before I only get them when they're on sale and I love these lipsticks I wear a lot of nudes and then the darker nudes and then the, this color right here and I don't have one currently in this color so I'm glad I got this on the super sale And because I'm going to do my nails, I also got this um, Wet n Wild, which was 60% off. And this is, um, they were having these on sale not too long ago at the Dollar Tree. Uh, you can get these two exact size of Wet n Wild nail polishes, two to a pack, which was... Um, a good deal is this one is this one was also on sale but not like that Dollar Tree sale and those went fast really fast so anyway I'm gonna do my nails in a little bit <laughs> try not to show them to you right now but this is the cover I want to do it's um the all day wear wet n wild photo focus but it's a setting spray I've never tried this before I am going to try it and I will tell you all about it I'll come back and tell you about it 
Anna empties video. So it's a wet and wild. It's the all day wear wet and wild photo focus setting spray. I got that because I need it. And this is a Revlon brand uh, press on nails. For th I got it for it, their regular eight eight or nine dollars. I think it was eight something, and I got it for three ninety three ninety seven. So I couldn't pass it up. It was the last one left, so I grabbed it. So that's my little tiny Rite Aid haul. So I love little, it's just, it was a random little fun beauty haul. Like I said, the sale was too good to pass up. I wasn't going to buy anything. I was just, just actually going in there to, you know, waste my time a little bit. Anyway, okay. So I mentioned the garden section and the grocery store outlet. And I did pick this up for $1.99. It's three little... Um, flower pots, but I'm gonna use them. I love the colors. Look at those colors: orange, yellow, and the and the pretty blue. And I'm gonna use these for herbs, plants and herbs. Which, by the way, tomorrow I'm gonna do an update on my Dollar Tree seedlings. Oh my God, that garden is doing really good. So I've been waiting to do that update, the two-week update, because it's time to transplant everything into the bigger into the ground and into the bigger pots so if I can rattle sorry about that so um, at the grocery store outlet they also they always have good buys and all kinds of stuff and it's kind of like Costco and that type of store you know and they put they have everything there they put it out and once it's gone it's gone it's not a regular thing to come in so I got these are both for the hair I'm forever fighting my royal crown my royal silver crown so i got this um and i you know and lately i've been using this dark i mean almost black but it's not quite black but it's super super duper dark and now that it's summertime i kind of want to brighten it up a little bit just a little bit so i got this by revlon it's um in the color wait I'll tell you that one. I got this one by Garnier Nutrice and in the color Ice Golden Brown for the scalp to cover up my gray and just kind of get an even tone because I also got this other one by Revlon and it is in the color Burgundy but it comes with the highlights. And I know I am experimenting and I'm telling you about it because I'm going to come back. You'll probably see. I mean, you're going to see it because I'm going to do it. Um, my hair, once upon a time ago, when I was working, I, I've been off work for a while, recuperating from some on-the-job injuries. So I have not been able to afford to go back to my hairdresser. But back when I was working, I used to be a blonde. Um, not a complete blonde, but I used to, if I can find a, a good picture, I'll insert it in here and show you. But I used to um, go and get those those highlights every other month. I'd go in, she'd do my roots and, and do highlights. And every time I went to go get the highlights, it kept getting blonder and blonder and blonder and we were just going with it. It got pretty at one point. But then I remember at, also at another point, it just got too much because of my skin coloring. So I had to have her tone it back down again. But I do still have, I guess the reason why I'm rambling about that is because of that burgundy highlight thing. It's going gonna, it's gonna to pick up where it used to be blonde. And it's still, I mean, my hair is very color treated and it's bleached. So you can kind of see the ombre in here and the blondish part that I've tried to cover with the dark brown. It keeps coming back. So I thought I'm going to put one even tone. I'm, if any of you guys are watching, our hairdressers are probably cringing at what I'm saying. But I'm going to do it because I'm bored and I need to cover the gray. 
So, yeah, I'm just gonna do all that one solid color for the gray, and then I'm gonna treat my ends with this pretty, pretty color. It's burgundy with highlights. I'm excited, so. Yeah, that's my small haul. Three little things that were non-grocery things that I got over at the grocery store outlet. It's, I love this store. I love this grocery store outlet. Buy good stuff in there. So, 